Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about simple periodic analog signal. Now, what happens? Uh, the periodic analog signals they can be classified as simple or composite. Sine wave is a simple periodic analog signal. It cannot be decomposed into simpler signals, right? So, what happens? Uh, the sine wave is a simple periodic analog signal, and it cannot be decomposed into simpler signals here you can see this sine wave in this figure you can see the sine wave here you can see that each cycle consists of a single arc above the time axis followed by a single arc below the time axis right now what happens uh, this uh, sine wave it can be represented by three parameters the peak amplitude the frequency and the phase now what is this uh, peak amplitude Actually what happens, uh, the peak amplitude of a signal is the absolute value of its highest intensity, right? And uh, this uh, peak amplitude of a signal is proportional to the energy it carries. For electric signals, peak amplitude is measured in volts. Here in this figure you can see this sine wave, right? In, and uh, in this figure you can see this sine wave and uh, the peak amplitude of uh, this sine wave is this. Right? In this figure you can see this. So the peak amplitude of a signal is the absolute value of its highest intensity. Right? So here for this signal you can see the peak amplitude of this signal is this. Right? It is the absolute value of its highest intensity. Next we will study about the frequency of a signal. So what is the frequency of a signal? To understand what is the frequency of a signal, we must know about the period of a signal. So what is the period of a signal? It is the amount of time in seconds taken by the signal to complete its one cycle. And uh, what is the frequency of a signal? Frequency of a signal is the number of periods in one second. And this is the formula of frequency of a signal. So frequency is equal to 1 upon period, right? So here in this formula, you can see that frequency and period are the inverse of each other. Period is expressed in seconds and frequency is expressed in hertz, right? Period is expressed in seconds and frequency is expressed in hertz. Now what happens if, if a signal does not change at all, then its frequency is zero, right? Uh, so what happens, uh, suppose there is a signal and it doesn't change at all, right? And it maintains a constant uh, voltage level for the entire time when it is active, right? In such a case, what happens? Its frequency will be zero, right? Because uh, this signal doesn't change at all, right? So it never completes a cycle. So its frequency is zero hertz. Now what happens if a signal changes instantaneously, then its frequency is infinite, right? Uh, so what happens so when a signal changes instantaneously, then it jumps from one level to another in no time, right? In that case, what happens? The frequency is infinite. Why the frequency is infinite? Because here the signal is changing instantaneously. Right, its period is zero. Since uh, the, we know that the frequency is the inverse of period and period is zero, right? Period is zero because the signal changes instantaneously. So what happens when the period is zero, then the frequency will be infinite, right? So what happens if a, sing if a signal changes instantaneously, then its frequency is infinite, right? Now let us see a question. Here the question is the period of a signal is 100 millisecond then what is its uh, frequency in kilohertz right uh, there is a signal right and uh, the period of that signal is 100 millisecond right and uh, we need to find the frequency of that signal in kilohertz right so uh, how we will solve this question first of all see that the period is 100 milliseconds right so 100 millisecond is 10 raised to power minus 1 second Right, so in this case what happens? Frequency is equal to 1 upon period. Right, this is the formula of frequency. Frequency is equal to 1 upon period. And here the period is 10 raised to power minus 1 second. Because 10 raised to power minus 1 second is equal to 100 milliseconds. So frequency will be 1 upon 10 raised to power minus 1 hertz. So it will be equal to 10 hertz. Right, and 10 hertz is equal to 10 into 10 raised to power minus 3 kilohertz, and it is equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 kilohertz. Right, so 
the frequency of a signal in kilohertz whose uh, period is 100 milliseconds is 10 raised to power minus 2 kilohertz. Now we will study about phase. Now what is the phase? Phase describes the position of the waveform relative to time zero. And phase is measured in degrees or radians. Right. So what happens? Uh, this phase. It uh, describes the position of the waveform relative to time zero. It indicates the status of first cycle. If we think of a waveform, something that can be shifted backward or forward along the time axis, then the phase describes the amount of that shift. Right. If we think that a wave is something which can be shifted backward or forward along the time axis, then the phase describes the amount of that shift. Phase is measured in degrees or radians. Right. So what happens? 360 degree. It is 2 pi radians. And phase is measured in degrees or radians. Now see. Here. Now what happens? A phase shift of 90 degree. Right. A phase shift of 90 degree corresponds to a shift of one quarter of the period. Right. Here in this figure you can see the phase shift of 90 degree. Right. So phase shift of 90 degree corresponds to a shift of one quarter of the period. And a phase shift of 180 degree. Phase shift of 180 degree corresponds to a shift of one half of a period. Right. Here you can see. And a phase shift of 360 degree. It corresponds to a shift of a complete period. Right. Phase shift of 360 degree corresponds to a shift of a complete period. And here in this figure you can see the phase shift of 0 degree. Right. Phase shift of 0 degree means there is no shift. Right. Now we will study about the wavelength. So what happens? Uh, the wavelength is uh, another characteristic of a signal traveling through a transmission medium. So what is the wavelength? Uh, the wavelength is the distance which a simple signal can travel in one period. So this is the formula of wavelength. Wavelength is equal to propagation speed into period. And we know that the period is the inverse of frequency. So we can write it like this. Uh, wavelength is equal to propagation speed upon frequency. Uh, the frequency of a signal is independent of the medium. But the wavelength depends on both the frequency and the medium. Wavelength is normally measured in micrometers or microns. Now, now let us see this question. Suppose uh, we have to find the wavelength of red light. Frequency of red light is 4 into 10 raised to power 14 hertz. And uh, the propagation speed is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. Right. So what happens uh, here we will use this formula wavelength is equal to propagation speed upon frequency. So we have to find the wavelength of red light whose frequency and propagation speed is given to us. So in this case what happened wavelength will be equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 8 divided by 4 into 10 raised to power 40 and it is equal to 0 0.75 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter right. So it will be equal to 0 0.75 micrometers.